we're definitely reaching level 50 this episode. Definitely. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days Dry Alpha 17. So we just got back from looting those buildings, and what I'm going to do now is let's just grab a shotgun. So remember, we still need to go kill that bear. I actually completely forgot about the bear the last episode. We're going to take the food and water with us, and then this we're just going to drop. Oh, there's no space. Okay, uh, dishonorable discharge. I actually want to try this one. Strange note I found while looting. It's from Crazy Jackie or Jake Clan. Kill some zombie soldiers. Okay, so that means... Ooh, nice. There's the waypoint close by. I first want to quickly go and kill that bear. Where is it again? I think it's over here. Yeah, we haven't killed it. This is the only house we haven't looted in this area. I doubt there's any bases up there, but I'm going to cut my way back like so. Where is this challenge, though? Let's just see. Quest, disarmable discharge, show on map. Okay, so it's in the snow biome close to the airdrop. So what I'm going to do now is just take my puffer coat with me. Because otherwise we're going to get too cold in the snow. Okay, so uh, puffer coat is over here. That means I can actually drop... Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to waste space. So I'm just going to put the iron in here for now. And we actually need a ton of iron in there now, I see. I don't actually want to waste all this iron because we're going to use it for upgrades and stuff. So I'll have to go mining again. I think this night, uh, because remember last night we looted during the night. This night I'm just going to go and get all the resources again and mine a little. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is... That direction. I'm actually thinking of upping the difficulty a bit. Because at the moment it's a little bit easy with the zombies walking so slow. Even if I just put it to a jog and they're a little bit faster, it's going to be way more challenging when you enter a place. Thank you. So instead of them walking towards you, they're going to have a slight jog, and it's just going to make that a little bit more difficult. I should have actually put some dye on this gun while I was there. So what I'm going to have to do now is take the dye off of one of these. Uh, let's take this one and put it on here. Just so it's a little bit more powerful when we're facing the... Oh, from that thought zombie was behind me. When we're facing the bear, it's just going to be that little bit more powerful. So for now, we're going to put the food and water in here. Just make a little bit of space over here, and then I should actually repair this just in case. Okay, this should be enough. The jacket we can also leave in there, and let's go. So I'm just going to fire a shot or two so that the zombies can react and come to me. Most of them should come up this ladder over here. Hello, where are you? Oh, there's one over there. Just saw movement. Hello. I think for now I'm just going to use my sledge because the bear is way downstairs. He's not hearing me at the moment. It would suck though if he comes running around the corner. Well, the nice thing about the sledgehammer is the range. You can hit and actually walk back a little bit without having to worry about zombies hitting you. Okay, so there's a little bit of resources over here. I just need to remember that as well. At least one of the places we need to loot for resources. What's this? resources so it's very close i just need to remember it's also here as well i mean it is an unfinished bolt site so there must be resources it seems those were the only zombies oh this is the stairs they would have used yeah okay so as soon as i kill that bear we have a ton of resources over here as well now that i look on the inside like this just want to be careful don't want to get too close to the bear without noticing I mean, I should be able to stun him with a shotgun, hopefully. And then, if it's not enough, I'm going to have to use my pistol. Although, I don't want to waste rounds on a bear. Okay, so the bear's in there. Let's just do this. Reload. It's going to suck if I accidentally forgot to reload. Now, I want to go in there without him seeing me. So we can do that sneak damage. See, there's the bear. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Woo, 
that was too close. And I just, just ran out of ammo. Damn, I forgot that if you zoomed in, you move very, very slowly. Oh, that was too close. Okay, so, I actually want to chop up all these bodies as well, but we can actually do that when we come here. I actually want to make a proper hunting knife. And then we're going to be able to get way more bones from these corpses. Damn, my heart is racing right now. That was way too close for comfort. Especially the gun was firing really, really slowly for some reason. Okay, so meat, thank you. Thank you, and that seems to be it for this place. There's a ton of corpses over here, so I'm going to get a ton of... This is going to disappear, so I'm going to have to skin him now. It's a shame. Okay, so that seems like it for the moment. Let's go get that drop, and then also go do this quest. Ooh, oh, for a moment I thought I missed this side. Okay. Did you hear the commotion? Welcome, welcome to the house of slaughter. Oh. Okay. Whoa. That's this other perk I just bought, isn't it? Skull Crusher. 5% chance to explode. Hits on head. Heads on hits. Damn it. Okay, so, um, this is a town, perhaps. We're gonna go for the quest first, and then the drop. So we're gonna go there. Let's just put on the puffer coat. I am gonna overheat a little bit for now. But until, the, uh, as soon as we get into the snow biome, it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna put this on me, like so, and then we're just gonna drop a ton of stuff. I just need to remember to constantly keep check of what we have on us and don't have on us. I need more stone anyways. Okay, so it is in that direction. Let's go. Guys, we are so close to being able to make a motorcycle. We are level 47. So hopefully we level up a ton with this quest. And we are able to make that motorcycle. It's going to be so much faster. And if it's faster, we can loot way more buildings. Because, I mean, just look how long it's going to take me to get to that place now. Is this where the... No. It's too close to our base. I thought this is where the quest was. At least there are cars and stuff back here that I didn't notice before, so I think every time I see a car, I'm going to stop for it. It might have loot in it, although with my luck, it's going to be, well, two bullets, but still, it's not enough. Do you guys perhaps know how to set it? Ooh, hello. Vultures. Come on. No, 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 no. Come towards me. No, 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 no. Um, how do I change it so that I don't use my mouse to steer with a bike? I've looked at the settings, um, the controls, and I can't find that setting. Because I hate driving around on my bike with my mouse. As soon as I take my hand off the mouse and my mouse pad is a little bit skewed, it just turns in circles. Okay, so I'm guessing the soldiers are going to come to us. Because I don't see an army camp close by. Let's just make sure we're looting everything we want. And then also, should probably... Um, I'm gonna keep the pistol on me for oh, the shotgun on me for now because you don't know what's gonna come at your way. But food and water, let's just see that we are replenished as much as we can be. Food and water, yeah, that's more than enough for now. Okay. Yep, they're gonna come after me. And hello, didn't even notice you. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Okay, so I need to kill these three soldiers, but for f now I just want to get the meat. Wait. Kill three soldiers, but there's way more than three, isn't there? Okay, so, power attack. You think for zombies in the snow, they die from fire attacks. Okay, that one just needs one more attack, like so. Is he stuck in the ground? Now he's laying down. <laughs> I think he's stuck in the snow. Okay, one attack. I love the fact that my stamina regen is a little bit faster when I use the power attacks like so. Oh, no, 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 no. Too close for comfort and dead. I think he was a glitch spawn. I didn't think he was supposed to spawn. Okay, so... Ooh, there's another soldier of yeah. Well, it's free XP, so why not? Just wait for him. Oh, he's on top. I was actually waiting for him to stand up out of the snow. I should really stop running around after zombies because as soon as I get to the zombie, I don't have any stamina left. Okay, so that's all the zombies in the area. They say go talk to the trader. That wasn't even a trader quest. 
but says talk to the trader. So that's awesome. Just want to get this drop quickly. Where's my bike? Bike is this way. There's actually a small outpost over here. So while I'm here, I'm just going to clear it. I mean, we are here, so why not? And there's another fire station over there. I wonder if that's part of a town or just two houses on its own. Because, no, there's a town over there. So this is the outskirts of a town. Okay, so we're going to make a little bit of space quickly. This is not enough to sell. At least we've got some honey, so it's going to be easier to get over an infection or feeling bad. Okay, so as soon as I fire this, there has to be a vulture or two. Or not, okay. That makes it easier for us. Remember guys, you can't wrench uh, these cars, but you can wrench the ones that you can loot. So the flattened ones you can't wrench, but the other ones you can. Hello zombies. No, 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 don't destroy resources over here. Come on, follow my head, follow my head, I know you want to. Two shots missed. I really need to work on my aim a bit. Why don't they just jump? There might be something to the railings of here we can use in the wall defense. Okay, so let's just quickly jump up here. See, this one is a full car, so you can actually range that one. There's a car over here we can also loot. I think there's one more. There's usually three in a place like this. Oh, they ran out of stamina just as I jumped. Um, no, it was only those two. Could have sworn there was a third one. We need to find more traders as well. Now that I'm actually looking at this message. Can I make that jump? Whoops, I didn't even jump, but I made it. The more traders we have, the easier it will actually be to hand in quests and stuff. I wonder, can you hand in one trader's quest at another trader? Or do you need to go back to the trader you got the quest from? This is ammo. Not bad, I mean we can still use our AK later on. Wait, is that all? That's really disappointing. I thought there'd be more zombies, more challenge. Okay, I think we should actually quickly go to the trader and drop these off. And then I'm going to see if I can one, accept another quest, and two, uh, when is the next reset for being able to sell things. So the trader is that direction. I should actually, before I do the trader, I think the trader we can do in the morning. Um, I want to see what else there is to my town. It's just where something else we're overeating at the moment. Uh, this one... Where? A. Hey. Okay, so hopefully we cool down now. Like I was saying, I need to see what else we can actually do in our town. I think we're done with the town, but I think there might still be a little bit of a chunk left. I just need to make sure. So, for example, we've looted this, we've looted that. We've looted over here, and the army camps, but there's still something up there. I don't know if that's part of our town, or if that's something new. We could actually technically start with the new town as well. So let's just quickly drive through and see if there's perhaps like a bookstore or something. Because I need mods. Okay, another bear in there. Not gonna <laughs> take on the bear right now. Just now I'm a w even worse aim than last time, and I die from this one. You know what, we are here, it's almost night time. Let's quickly farm, wait, have we done this one before? I can't remember if we, no, those boxes are untouched. Okay, the reason I say that is, we are level 48. One and a half levels away from level 50, then we can make that motorcycle. So what I'm going to do now, is draw a little bit of attention to ourselves. Kill as many zombies as possible before night time, and then do some exploring during the night. Come on. Let's just make a little bit of noise over here. Let's watch out for that fat zombie training us now. Okay, I should actually use my club now. Because it's actually a waste of stamina. Well, that was a body search. Uh, it's a waste of stamina using my sledgehammer when I can only use... Only need to use my club. Ok, 
Okay, so once again, I need to watch out for those dogs. And hello. Sneaking up on me like that. There's actually another army camp right here, but I don't know if that's the one I died in the first time. Yeah, it's right next to the trader, so I'm guessing that's the one. What was I aiming at? Damn, that was bad aiming. No, no, no. The more I shoot, the more zombies pop up at the back. So, this is a very nice way to level up. I wonder if you get more XP for killing them through headshots. Because I know that if they take damage from traps, for example, and you kill them then, you don't get as much XP as usual. We are close to level 49. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. Stop jumping. Okay, I need to fire at the tent. I think I'm going to stand on top of this tower over here. And then I'm going to fire at the main tent. It is the main tent where all those dogs and soldiers are. And it's almost 10. So we have to hurry up right now. That guy is far away. Let's just hope he hits some mines on the way here. I still need to go for my parkour skill. It's so easy to miss a jump, especially when you're out of stamina. So first, let's get their attention. There has to be zombies in there, I think. Come on. That's a dog. I didn't even notice that was a dog. Bullseye. Okay, is there more dogs? Come on, come on, come on. It's almost night time, then these zombies are going to start running. And no, 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 no. There's a zombie underneath me as well. Hello? Where are you? Okay, another one. And he's jumping. That was too close for comfort. They're too dumb to jump on top of you, so if he jumped on, that would have been bad luck for, my, uh, for me. Come on, come on, come on. Level 49, so close to level 50. I actually want to start working on my horror defense. Because we have the concrete mix, so we could technically start that. Okay, no zombies. There has to be a third dog. Okay, and finally a soldier. Just watch out for this guy to the left, but he's moving extremely slow. Okay, so the nice thing about these places, it has, has these loot boxes over here. So there's a shotgun box, a munitions chest. I can up my looting skill again, but I think I need perception level 5 or 7 or something. I just need to hurry before night time because the zombies are ruthless at night, and it's almost <laughs> night time anyways. Okay, so let's see. This is a shotgun choke that we can actually scrap, although I could actually sell that thing. I don't really like scrapping stuff if you can sell them because you can make a ton of cash. Okay, let's just keep our pistol on us just in case there's more zombies in the area. Come on, come on, come on. Yay, thank you. So we're going to do this, do this, and modify. Any and all guns I can sell, I'm going to sell. The higher quality, the better. And there's a zombie right over there. Come on. Not dead yet. I don't see the XP bar. Come on. No, 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 no. Thank you, XP. But I think that fat zombie is trailing us now. Because I heard something explode back here. Just going to keep my gun on me because I can't see anything over there. So that sucks a little bit. Guys, remember, everywhere in this place, there's actually loot underground. You just need to look for planks and stuff on the floor and then look underneath it. It's not just in these tents. It's also outside. I miss the days when there was like a mu nuisance chest up here. Ah, I'm struggling with that word today. Okay, that fat zombie is definitely in the area. Yep, there he is. And there's another zombie incoming. See, the, the run they have now, the jog, I want to put that on during the day. Just to make it a little bit more challenging during the daytime. I mean, he's moving slow enough that it's not too much of a challenge, but it's going to be fun knowing that you can die at any moment if you run out of stamina. Okay. 
so let's keep going. See, like this plank over here, there's something down there. I actually missed it on one, uh, this on one of the places. Okay, so I have a ton of pistols that I want to sell. There's no point in having one more pistol. I'm just going to power attack most of these. I can't wait until I can power attack right through a level. That's going to be so much faster looting something. And there's a zombie outside. Need to keep my ears and eyes open. Yeah, I think that's it for this place. I don't think I missed anything. There's a zombie right there. Okay, let's go. So I'm actually looking for a bookstore because I need mods. I'm actually looking for more storage mods so we can actually fill this up without having to go for strength. That's going to help us a ton. Okay, so let's eat that. Let's eat this. And do I have water on me? Even dirty water. Remember, we have that purifier on, so even dirty water can be drank. Ooh, I hear thunder in the background, yeah. Not in game, but in like real life. I love this kind of weather. Okay, so this is a gas station. That's not what we want. Post office, also not what we want. Seems to be... Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. For a moment, I thought that was one of the towers. I haven't actually seen one of the towers yet in this game. Like those Desong tires, uh, towers and those things. Okay, so there's a pawn shop over here. I have the ammo. Should I try it? That might be a little bit of fun. <laughs> and then this is a bookstore. A nice big bookstore. I wanted to go for those resources off camera now, but I think I'm going to go for this. Let's just hope not too many zombies in the area respawn from the gunfire in here now. I think I should jump through one of the windows. That way I can actually ensure that not too many zombies can follow me in. And if they break down the door, I'll be able to hear it. So what I'm going to do is, let's jump up here. Ooh, hello, you see me, don't you? In the head. Okay, I need to open this up because it seems they don't see me properly. Come on, over here. I mean, it's going to be tough now if they come right at me, like so. But it's easier shooting them than shooting through a window. Dead, dead, dead. And all of these are running a slightly over here. It's actually a very slow jog. I should actually set this back up to sprint. Okay, come out the window and they broke out over there. So we're going to face them in the open like this, and it's going to be easier to get those headshots. See, during the day, this isn't that much of a challenge, but it's going to add, when you're running out of stamina, a little bit of difficulty to the game. We're definitely reaching level 50 this episode. Definitely. Just watch out for zombies in the area. I mean, there is a pawn shop right there. I should actually see, if we have the time, if we can actually do the pawn shop as well. That's going to be awesome. I should really start using my shotgun as well. Okay. So you can actually see when they're going to die from that sound they make. But I don't know why some people can't differentiate the, between that sound and the falling sound and they keep wasting ammo on the zombies. Okay, before we loot this place, I just want to make sure that we are clear and safe. Ooh, hello. Okay, let's just do this a bit. Shotgun time. Spread damage. Hit the one in the back as well. Whoops. Zombies in there. Okay, dead, dead, and dead. Make sure nothing comes from the front or on top. Nice. This, uh, this shotgun is just enough to one-shot normal zombies in the head. But then your aim needs to be good. Okay, so it's day 14. We are expecting dogs, so I need to be watchful of that as well. Um, nothing in here. Are they back here? Yes, hello.
I almost looked like that cupboard door opened up. Whoa. No, 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 no. Remember that it looked like that locked cupboard opened up. Like you could loot it, but now you can't loot it anymore. No, 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 no. Stop destroying my stuff. I want to dismantle those things later. But we are level 50 now, right? Yes. So that means intelligence, grease monkey, motorcycles, finally. Okay, now where are the stairs? I think it's on this side. See, there's going to be a ton of stuff we can loot in here, but I first need to make sure that we're the only ones in here. Just check to the right as well, that they don't flank me over here. For some reason, these zombies don't really look fast. Some of them move fast, like the smaller ones, like this one. But most of them just walk, especially these fat ones. It's like they can't run. Guys, I'm sorry for the blurry view, but that's the only way to really do damage, is to zoom in. If you want to do spread damage, you fire from the hip. If you zoom in like this, it's localized damage. It does way more damage if you're shooting for the head. Except, obviously, if you're up close and personal like this, and then just... Come on. Heads in front of each other. No, 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 no. Got stuck there. I was way too close for comfort. Way, way too close for comfort. And more zombies are coming from the bottom now. Okay, this is actually shaping up to be a really fun episode. Way more challenging than I thought it would be. Okay, they almost destroyed the bookcases up here. Nice, now to loot. Yep, more zombies incoming. But it's nice, the more zombies we get, the faster we level up. That's already one mod, it's a fire mod. Well, even if it's just the schematic, we can make those. So, schematics, mods, anything, welcome. Just need to go to talk to that trader. Okay, now they're just wailing on the railing. They're not even trying to walk around. Box still box. Yes, I'm this side. Come to me. Wrong side. There's a ton of leather in here. So later on, when I need leather, I just need to come back to this place. Oh man, listen to that thunder in the background. I don't know if you guys can actually pick it up. Is he dead? No, he's not. Now he's dead. Let's just reload. Ooh, I have a little bit of ammo left. I should actually save that a little bit and use my shotgun for now. Because if the dogs show up... Well, shotgun will stun them, but I mean the pistol fires way more rounds, so I can kill the dogs more, fish, more efficiently. Do that. Um... This we need to put on our boots. We can actually now. So we're going to scrap and just make a little bit of space here quickly. Is there something for looting, I wonder? Dead eye, skull crusher, nope. That would have actually come in handy right now. I should actually quickly drop everything on my bike because then we have more space to loot. It's going to suck. Oh, thunder. It's going to suck if the zombies catch me just because I'm encumbered like this. So, since the bike is just here, let's quickly do that. I think during the night I need to see what I can and can't make. Let's just drop everything over here. Oh, you can't. Damn, that sucks. I can't drop anything. We can do that. Scrap. Uh, the egg I'm going to keep for now. So I'm just going to shift click and see what fits. That's just a problem of driving around while you're encumbered and your bike is full. But as soon as we get that car, the jeep. It's going to be way easier to do this. I should actually put the shotgun over here. Take the die off this one and put it on this one. I mean, it's a better quality shotgun, so why not? I should have actually done this a while ago. And, since it's a better quality, it can now have two. Nice. Unfortunately, this means I'm still encumbered. I just noticed, I took the die off of this fire axe and put it on the shotgun. So is that why I'm only doing so little bit of damage when I do the power attack? Should I be able to do a whole level on a box if I do a power attack with my mod on? Because I mean, this already has two mods on, but if it has die on as well, it increases the damage. So I might be able to power attack boxes or closed boxes by now. Kind of starting to slowly but surely run out of space. So as soon as we're done looting here, we just quickly need to go back to the base and drop a few things off. 
Let's see, one shot power attack, 53 HP left. But if it was died, it might just be really, really close to one shotting. Okay, so that's it for this side. I think we've looted that side. I just need to make sure. And then also we need more space over here. It gets bad when you have to throw things away that you might use later on. I mean, I could make a drop chest, but there's just too much driving back and forth and grabbing everything again. I think we've... Yep, we've done that side. Cool. So, we got a ton of schematics and even some of these things, the magazines. Let's just quickly go back to the base and drop those off so we can continue looting. And also, who knows, perhaps there's a building in this town that we might use later on. No, 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 no. Thank you. Like I said, I need to make myself a hunting knife and I need to make myself a motorcycle now. I hope I have enough of everything, but then again, we don't really have any iron in the forge. Okay, I need to make some space. What I could do is just grab the meat off the bike and then I'll be able to grab all of this. No, 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 no. Where's the meat? Raw meat. That's what I wanted to gra uh, grab. Let's do that. Meat. Okay. What's this over here? Why did it jump that far? Okay, so let's quickly go dump these things in the base. The base is... that direction. Oh, more meat. Do you know? Uh, it's here, so why not? I need a hunting knife so I can actually do more. Or get more meat from these guys. Let's see, it's a new town, it's a forest town, and there's meat here. So it's actually worth coming to this place and perhaps living over here. And it's not that hot as the desert. Okay, so it's a shame I'm losing all those bones, but let's just quickly go to the base. See if we can at least put into production some of the stuff we need for the motorcycle. And then drop all of those things off. I should actually see, as soon as I have my motorcycle, whether I could die it. I mean, that's going to help a ton when you're busy <coughs> driving. Because I, I think you can die your bike, but you just can't see the color on it. Okay, so let's see. I'm almost out of space already. Um, this is... Black, I believe. No, brown. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my shotguns and stuff we can sell over here. I think we can sell that thing, yep. Uh, that we can sell, that we can sell. All the schematics go in here, although space is starting to run out over here. What did we get? 4 times scope, we have an 8 time as well. Rod and spring replacement, scope 4, bandolier. That's for reloads. We have another burning shaft. We have a red remover schematic. Oh, this is awesome. So it takes a f uh, infections away or down. That's going to come in handy. Nice. Okay, so we have brown dye over here. We're just going to modify this one again. We actually need one more mod for this. I wonder if you can actually put a fire mod on your tools. Because that will also increase the damage. Or rather, it should. Okay, so just drop these over here. I'm going to have to make another chest just for that. We are running really, really low on space at the moment. Okay, I think, I think for now we're just going to put the iron in, or at least half of the iron we have. Um, let's just do this. I want to have half, half. Okay, and we have a ton of stuff we can... Woo! I didn't even notice... I, I forgot completely that I put bacon and eggs in there. So that's going to come in handy later on. We're going to turn that on. Let's just see what we need for the motorcycle. Okay, motorcycle chassis. We need steel, 30 steel. I don't think we have that much. Damn, so I'm going to have to go and cook up some steel. Although, as soon as this is done, we should have enough to make a little bit of steel. We already have enough for two and we've barely been going. So I need 30 steel for that one. What did I just see? Oh, we can actually put those stacks on top of each other. Food goes in there. Okay, so what else do we need? Motorcycle handlebars. More steel. Electrical parts. Do we have electrical parts? Uh, yes, we do. And we have mechanical parts and springs. Headlights, yes we do. Duct tape, yes we do. We might need to make more duct tape. We have 12 bones and we have 4 glue, so hopefully that's enough. See, we need 12 of here. And we need 12 of here, so we're definitely going to have to cook those up as well. Do I have dirty water though? Yes, I do. Awesome. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You need to cook up glue from that. You don't make water. I almost made a mistake. I'm going to craft 12 of those. I hope there's not more required. Of, no, phew, at least not. We need an engine and we need a battery. I don't think we have those, so I'm going to have to go wrenching again. 
But I think I'm going to go wrenching in that town. As soon as I get I come across a car, I'm going to do that. Okay, so that is the handlebars. That's the chassis. We need wheels. I don't think we have spare wheels. Nope, we don't, so we need to make those as well. We should have the resources required, though. Acid, forged iron. Okay, do we have 20 scrap? Yes, we do. Awesome. And then oil. We have oil somewhere. Yep, we have a ton of oil. And then the problem is going to be we need some coal. We have 20 coal. We need... Oh, we just, just have enough. You know what? Let's just quickly make it then. Since we have the required resources, why not make it now? So we need acid, polymers, and oil. That's two wheels, just like that. Okay, so we can make the motorcycle handlebars. Let's just see if we have a few skill points. Yes, we do. I think I should go for this one. It's going to take three, but we're going to be able to make way better quality items as well. And then we can put a skill for now. We're very close to this one, I think. Strength seven. No, we're far away from that one. Mother load and minus 69er. And skull crusher, heavy down. I want to spend it in something I know I'm going to use or require later on. Slow metabolism, healing factor. Nope. Well insulated, it's not an option right now. Immunity, I don't want to get infected, so let's just do that. Okay, we're going to repair this and then quickly make the motorcycle. I want to say we're going to go back to that town and do some looting. But um, if you guys have noticed, it is day 14. So I need to get my war defenses up before them. I am so close to being able to make everything right now. So this is motorcycle. Uh, chassis we need. Leather, electrical parts we have. We just need leather and then four more steel. Okay, motorcycle chassis, like so. So in three minutes we'll have most of our motorcycle done. And then for the actual motorcycle, we need two wheels. We need... The chassis and handlebars, and we need those engines. So the rest of these I can actually put away for now. Okay, guys, uh, if you like, if you guys like this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? What do you guys think of this episode? We leveled up quite nicely. We did a cracker book and got a ton of schematics, and now I'm finally making my motorcycle. So this is going to be awesome. Leave your comments down below, and if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.